I observed sexualised cultures in my workplace when I worked at Save the Children um, against women who were not treated actually as equals in their workplace as I had assumed this sector would inherently have in its value system. I noticed that women were on a slightly different scale and I, the more I noticed, the more I heard, the more people talked to me and I eventually took part in a process that didn't really solve the problem, it moved the problem away and that left other people vulnerable. So I was at that point pretty aware that we had a systemic problem because it couldn't possibly just be one organisation, one experience. I had to storm a boardroom together with members of the Women's Quality Party in order to be heard by the Board of Save the Children. Um, others haven't had to go so far, but we were certainly not invited to speak about our experiences. We were kept away from the situation. The media was put under pressure to not to reveal stories. All of this comes from an angle that we were trying to do damage to a sector that we actually care so passionately about. I'm not surprised. Um, I and other women who have been speaking out, campaigning actively and whistleblowing have all left the sector because we were not being heard. We tried through the structures that were available to us, but they were imperfect, they were not going farther enough. What this is revealing is that it's human beings and that we have the same problems of patriarchy and racism that we have in other parts of our society. And we need to call this out because this is a human rights issue that these charities need to be at the forefront of.